Hi you guys, it's Dara here, your neighborhood friendly Dara that is. And you just tuned into Dear Hallmark. This is my space where I can talk shop about Hallmark Channel, Up TV, Great American Family, and synonyms of that sort, right? <laughs> Y'all. I don't even know how to start, y'all. How do I start? <laughs> what do I say? Love in the Maldives is a movie that stars Jocelyn Houdon and Jake Manley, and it's about a writer. Her name is Ray Parker, and she has to write about a trip that she took and she's adventurous but her editor's trying not to not for her to be so adventurous because it's supposed to be romantic and then she ends up meeting this guy who's trying to do a course about yoga and meditation or yogic principles or something to that sort and they end up falling in love and she's in the maldives did you feel the conflict did you feel the struggle because it's real like, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, there's no more water in the glass. Um. Mmm. <laughs> Let me smell a candle. I just need... I need something to... <laughs> Um, hmm. Okay, here's something. I love Jocelyn Houdon. I love her in When Hope Calls. I've loved her on the Up TV movies that she's done. She's Has she been in some... I think she's been in some Hallmark movies too, but this one right here, boy. Boss, come grab your fake mug. Let's 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 cheers and let's talk because I don't know what's going on with this one. Um, not fake mug, but you know, it's, it ain't got nothing in it. That's all I'm saying. It ain't got nothing in it. Let me pour something in it. Water. Okay. So I uh, I saw the preview for this right, and I saw the trailer, and. This movie met the expectations that I had when I saw the preview in the trailer. Um, did I mention that I love Jocelyn Houdon? I just want that to be out there and a solid fact. Because these words hurt coming out of my system. I want to know what what happened what happened I feel like the story was there but I don't know <laughs> I don't know how else to say this but to say it the leading guy was giving it was we were dead behind the eyes like, his facial expressions didn't change the entire movie. How he was in the beginning when he first saw her and she flicked the fruit towards him. Nothing. His eyebrows moved, but he was dead behind the eyes, y'all. And then you fast forward all the way to our conflict in the last 12 to 12 and a half minutes where we get some legend of Zorro shipwreck and he doesn't want it to be talked about. Her editor is pushing for it to be talked about. Hashtag chasing waterfalls. And he gets all in his feelings 
And his facial expression didn't change. The same dude who walked into her suite unannounced didn't wait for her to say anything. He used his master key card and just walked into her suite. The same facial expression that we had there. He carried like a bass, like a wicker basket of spring flowers, just carried it through the entirety of the movie. They did a slow dance. Same expression. I think I'm falling for you too. Y'all, what's going on? What do we got to do? When can we have a town hall in the middle of Hallmark Channel Town Square so we can talk about what's going on? Because this is the 14th movie. I'm literally looking at my list. 14 movies. Look at where I ranked it. I honestly would only watch three of these movies again. Y'all, I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to do at this point because I feel like we just playing frisbee golf with it, you know? Like, we're just, I, and I hate that it feels like we're just biding our time until Christmas. And I don't like that. I don't like that. That's, that's like, do I want to say disrespectful? I don't know. But it, 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 it just feels like we're biding time until Christmas. Now, what I will say, these next couple movies, have you seen the preview? Now, I knew from the synopsis that Aaron Craco and Brendan Penny's movie was going to creme de la creme. I mean, Mr. Penny, hello. <laughs> Chef de cuisine at Hallmark. That's it. Can we just call Brendan Penny the chef de cuisine of Hallmark? I, I feel like Chef Penny, that's it. That's, that's what we're going to call him. He's the chef de cuisine. Okay. So let it be rich and so let it be done. This is why we need to have town hall so we could do stuff like this. But I know Aaron Craig Cohen and Bernard Penny is going to kill it. I saw the trailer for Hunter King and Chandler Massey's Professional Bridesmaid. And now I'm a believer. From the synopsis, I was like, okay, okay. But I got, my, there's more gasoline in my hope train. That's all I'm saying. Okay. For Hunter and Chandler's movie. And then Heather Hemmings' movie, A Pinch of Portugal. I have to see the trailer. But then we got Mr. Aaron Cahill and Mr. Marco Grazzini. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to set my word on that one. Okay. Mm. I know why they put that last. I know why they put that last. Okay. Please don't let me down. Don't let me down. That's all I'm saying. Don't let me down. But, y'all, this movie was a crown and a half. The Widow was the best part. I couldn't even focus on the scenes because my head hurt from the performances. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't. And I cared more about, I love that jo Jocelyn's character, Ray, befriended her and that she became the reservation for one reader as Ray was blooming into her table for two column okay there's something it's still getting a crown and a half the crown is for i don't want to call her the widow but like what's her i don't remember her character's name and then um the half is for the maldives you know just maldivian all over the place you know but this was a maldivian tragedy i'm like of shakespearean proportions what are we doing i'm sorry okay this is why Oh, I'm so glad we have Hallmark movies now. I don't like saying that. I don't like saying that. Why am I saying that? Why am I saying that I would rather watch an Up TV movie right now and I'm like wishing Up TV would um, just put out movies? I know they're doing, um, you know, for Resurrection Sunday, for Easter, they're they're doing a lot of more inspirational 
content than your romantic content. But I'm going to need y'all to hurry up because... And Great American Family is not making any movies either, so... <laughs> Somebody got to do something in this place, okay? Because it ain't working for you, girl, okay? It ain't working. Okay, let's think about two positive things. I just feel like I have to. So, I, I like the underwater restaurant. I thought it, it was casual elegance. I love when they mix linen and wood. The like um you you have a, a wood table with linen napkins. I just think that like the, the contrast of textures gives off casual elegance to me and I love it. And it elevates it with the wine glasses. Cause it makes it feel like you you know not that you fully dress up, but that you come, you come stunting a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. And then to be surrounded by water. And then I love that her bedroom was underwater as well. Loved. The underwater disco scene. Mm, okay, maybe. If it wasn't so darn awkward. <sighs> what you're gonna do? Gonna be ballers, shot callers, ballers. No. But um Yeah, boss. I don't know what to do. What what do we do? I guess we just wait till this Saturday. All of my eggs are in the basket of the professional bridesmaid uh, with Hunter and uh, Chandler, Aaron Craig Cohen, Brendan Penny, Aaron Cahill, and Marco Grazzini. Because did y'all, come in for a minute. Did y'all see the May movies that they released? That they, E.T. released it, right? We're getting four movies in May, right? Two of them I'm excited about. We're getting... Tamara's movie, which is like a Mother's Day themed movie, which I think is so brilliant. My compliments to the chefs on that one. I love that idea. And then we're getting a new Hannah Swenson mystery. Um, we're, we're getting two channels and two uh, mysteries. Literally two mysteries. Because Jody Sweeten has a mystery. And I couldn't see that coming from eight miles away. So I'm just like... Why are we getting all of these new mysteries? What gives? Um, and then that, I'm, I can't talk about the other Hallmark Channel movie because I just can't. I don't have the bandwidth emotionally or mentally, maybe even physically. So I'm going to link the article for the May movies in the description. Read it at your own risk. Um... So that's a part that adds to my frustration because then there's not even anything to look forward to past April outside of Hannah Swenson's movie and Tamara's movie. And then because they're only giving us four movies and it's in the middle two weekends of May, the Saturday and Sunday, they could have like divvied it up so that, excuse me, we get one on one Saturday of one week, one on a Sunday of another week, one on a Saturday of one week and one on the Sunday of another week. But because they smushed it all together, so it's Saturday, Sunday of one week, Saturday, Sunday of another week, we have two weekends that are free. I'm thinking, oh, shoot, they're about to fill it with something. And I'm not here for filler unless it's stuffed crab or stuffed salmon or even stuffed French toast. You know what I mean? Y'all. Y'all. This is why I got a box of chocolate next to me. This is why I got a box of chocolate next to me. But. Okay. All right. Did I even talk about anything with love and the Maldivian tragedies? I don't know. But that's where my heart belongs. My heart belongs in therapy at this point. Because I am 50 shades of sad. It feels like there's no hope. 
outside of the three movies that we have coming out this April, I can't call Pen A Pinch of Portugal. That could be a hit or miss because we don't have a trailer out yet for that. So I can't call it, my friends. But what are you calling it? Talk to me in the comments. Let's converse. You can also talk to me on Instagram. You can also talk to me on Facebook. And you can also talk to me via podcast. I'll tell you why. You might be like, woman, please, what are you talking about? Well, there is a uh, capability for you to leave a voice message. Much like voicemail, I know, antiquated. But you can leave a voice message and I can play it on the podcast and respond to it as if we're dialoguing. So you can check that out at your own leisure. However, my name is Dara. This is Dear Homework. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao, my friends.